So what I'm doing today, it is two days after, I think two days, right? After uh, Hurricane Nicole went through our, well, south of our area, but we got hit with a bunch of wind, a lot of debris. There's a lot of uh, beach damage, a lot of erosion. So I'm going out today to see what exactly, which areas are closed, which ones are open. We're gonna actually start up at Crescent Beach and we're gonna go all the way down the coast as far as we can. We might have to do some backtracking because I know there's areas of A1A that's completely closed off. So we're gonna check it out. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Check out www.fishandgirlflorida.com and uh, we're gonna get out here and see, I've got my dad with me. Say hello. <laughs> He's tagging along because he wants to see what the beaches look like too. So we're going to check it out and show you what it looks like. So we're going over the intercoastal and if you're familiar with this area, this is pretty swollen. I'm not sure what tide we're at, if this is high tide or not, but this looks like it's more than high tide. We're here at Crescent Beach. There's a walk over here and people are using it. So we're going to go check it out. A lot of debris. We actually do got someone fishing out here, but this is completely broken. So this access is not a, this is a no-go, but it looks like people are coming down the ramp and they're able to come down that way. See down this way, lots of birds. But yeah, you can't bring your cart down here though. This took me by surprise. Um, they have, the parking lot is closed. This is where Matanzas Beach is at. Um, we got the Fort Matanzas. I don't know if you can see it back there, National Monument. And right across the street is the, um, the parking lot is closed off, but people are parking on the side and they're walking from the, the road in to see what it looks like there. So I'm gonna keep on going because I've there's other videos out there. People have been showing what that looks like. Okay, so we're going past the parking lot for Matanzas Beach. This is where I normally park. Oh, that is open. We're gonna come back to that. So we came over the bridge and you can see there is a lot of flooding over here. They've got a road closed over there. But yeah, I'm gonna head back over. There's Matanzas Inlet Bridge. But look at all this flooding. Look at that. All right, we're gonna head back across the bridge. I'm just gonna keep this rolling because there are some people fishing over the bridge. So you can still park here. You can still fish. This guy's taking pictures. Let's see what the ocean looks like over there if you can see it. But we got a dude fishing here. Got to put some people up here fishing. But I thought this walkover was destroyed from pictures that I saw, so I didn't think this would be open at all. Okay, so the walkover is closed. Just so you know, this parking lot is open, but the walkover is closed. Closed for repair, it says. And if you have seen any of the other posts, it is there's a whole chunk of it totally missing. So they've got this open probably so people have a place to park and get to the bridge or park and go across the street to get to the inlet area from over here. So, all right, we're gonna keep heading south. Road work ahead. I sure hope it does. That's for my daughter. Okay, so here we have this one lane at a time road. They're doing some construction here and we've got piles of sand on either side of the road. Oh, and they're making us wait here in the middle for some reason. So we're here at Marineland Beach and uh, it is open. Bathrooms are open, so we can get down here, but you can see behind me, there is a lot of rocks down here. The sand is literally almost gone, so I'm gonna turn it around and show you. Look at all this rock. I mean, the sand is literally, it's all gone from, <laughs> They've got the, uh, the walkovers closed. Beach access closed until further notice because look at that. That's insane. These rocks were here. These were all covered with sand. <laughs> this is all eroded away. This is insane. Wow. When 
I was fishing down here and I caught like a three foot shark. I was right in front of those gray rocks down there and it was all sand. This was mostly sand. Most of these rocks were completely covered up. But it's crazy. Wow. So, um, probably won't be fishing down here unless you just, he definitely won't be bringing a cart. That's for sure. A lot of flooding up Washington Oaks area. Oh my gosh, it's like closed and very flooded. <laughs> so yeah, won't be going to Washington Oaks. I believe the next one down is Bay Drive Park. We'll see if we can get in there. There's a lot of flooding down here. Over there, all these side roads. See Colony, oh, there's Bay Drive. Oh, missed it. And so the road's closed through traffic so it looks like Bay Drive is closed. So next one we're gonna try to hit Malacampra. Malacampra was one of the few that were open before. Coming down to Malacampra and they are doing a bunch of construction on this road. It's down to one lane here. All right so we're turning in here to Malacampra. Get some water but it's not closed so that's good. Yep, bathrooms are open. Rocks are sand, the walkover is open. We're gonna go across and see what it looks like. So there's a little bit of lumpiness in this thing, but I think we could still get a cart over. We'll see what it looks here on the other side. Oh, there's like a little drop here. Oh wow, look at all the debris. Could get a cart over though. Right, next beach down we're coming to Old Salt Park. So far so good. Hard to tell from here. I don't think there's any flooding in the parking lot. Looks like that's open. And we're gonna park and show you what the beach looks like. Okay, so we've got we've got a walkway with a lump of sand in the middle, so if we had a big beach cart, we'd have to go around that or over the side. Okay, this looks a little different. <laughs> this is Jungle Hut Beach, Jungle Hut Park, and the whole parking lot is underwater. That is deep water too. But they've got sand piled up. But we're gonna go over and see, check things out over here. Okay, coming up over the rise here. Let's see what we got going on here. I could get a cart over that. Down there, the ends of their ramps. Either the sand is all gone or the, the ends of the ramps are gone. Definitely keeping my shoes on. But look at this. There's usually a lot of rocks down here, and I don't see any rocks. Wow. Look at how bad that's eroded back of there. Jeez, look at that. Just a lot of erosion. It's gonna take a while to recover from this, but I can get my cart down here. So Jungle Hut is an option for me. All right, we're here at Varn Park. And it looks like this is open. So we're gonna check it out. Oh, this actually evened it out. <laughs> this was 
This was a really steep drop after Hurricane Ian, and this storm actually evened it out, I think. So it's not too bad, but it's pretty badly eroded. Look at that. Yeah, I may try it soon. Now, I don't know what it looks like at the the, the walkovers over there, but it looks like some of them are intact, so. But for fishing, you can definitely get your cart down here. So we're still at Barn Park here, but I found this cool little starfish. And these waves are kind of crazy. You can see all the debris in the water. There's a lot of debris. They got the wind is coming from the west, so it's, it's kind of doing some really cool things with the waves. We're down here at Beverly Beach, and unfortunately, this walkover took a lot of damage. That whole new section that they did is gone. This whole area is busted up. Oh, I was really hoping this would not be this damaged. Wow. So they've got this completely closed off because it's too dangerous to come down here. So Beverly Beach for right now is a no-go. Down here at Flagler Beach, there are a lot of surfers out there. Walkover is closed. We got a guy. There he goes. The sand used to be over all those rocks too. Some huge waves out there today. I bet that's from some fun surfing for people who surf, not me. Okay, so we're following this detour. A1A is closed at 7th Street South. I think most people know that now, but I'm just gonna follow the detour south and we're gonna see where we can come back out on A1A, if, if anywhere. <laughs> So we're still on this detour right now, and it is still closed. Every, every road is closed. I thought maybe we could get to like a place where it cuts back over to get back on A1A, but it's literally been road closed. We're on this detour road. We're at 20th Street right now. That's how far down. I can see the water tower in the distance. Let's see how far this goes. Okay, we found the end of the detour. <laughs> it is right here. Look at that crossover. It's all messed up. Here's okay, when it is closed there. And here we come out to Snack Jacks. They're still doing construction there. It doesn't look like it's open. Yeah, closed today. In the parking lot here. This is across from Gamble Rogers. That's closed off there. Um, I don't know if we can see it from here. That's a one piece. But this is closed off there, so I'm assuming that that walkover is probably not working. Got another road closed. <laughs> A1A is shut down this direction too, so that will be a no-go getting there. Siri's telling me to go down this road. Look at all this flooding down here. That's crazy. And it says to turn right, right here. So the some of these... Some <laughs> <laughs> yes, some of these roads have some flooding going on too. Come on, Siri. You should know about this stuff. <laughs> that gives you a good idea of what beaches are accessible, which ones are not. I hope it's really helpful. Um, I know I was a little surprised at which ones were <laughs> really destroyed and which ones were actually um, I could get out on. But if you live in the Flagler County area, go ahead and subscribe because I try to do this every time there's a big storm or hurricane or something that comes through that changes the erosion or if there's like significant beach erosion that's changing the beaches I'm gonna be getting out there and reporting that so that you can know where to go before you get out and not have to figure it out for yourself go ahead and push that subscribe 
push a like on this video and please share it if you know people that might uh, benefit from it. Thanks for watching and as always, timelines, God bless.